More chonk lore, please. Where do they come from? What do they normally eat? I feel like honey fruit's gotta be part of the diet. Yeah, yeah. Like, always carries around like a meat stick. Ham legs. <laughs> like those bones? Like, oh, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you can find. Probably a lot of fruit. They eat fruit. Because fruit? chunks okay. are not carnivorous. You think you got that big from fruit? And soup. A lot of soup. <laughs> oh, okay, the soup It's like a lot better. of soup. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. What's your all-time favorite TFT meme? My favorite one probably was Shadow Mort Dogged. Anytime something bad happened and that emote would get spammed all over the place. Mana printer. Just mana printer anything. Go burr. Me mech, me no pivot. No, I was gonna say that. When food fight tactics. Soon. Never. We can make it happen, but should we make it happen? I... Give us your elevator pitch for a set that will never happen. The whole set is Ezreal. I was just to say, oops, all Ezreal. Yeah, I was actually yeah, gonna okay. say that. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> a set where like there's 58 of the same champion. No way. That won't be confusing, yeah. <laughs> Which dev loves Dongo? Will there be more Dongo? Which Dongo is best at changing light bulbs? Why are Dongos round? Can Dongos do math? What is a group of Dongos called? Do Dongos lay eggs? I think the answer to that is Dango. Yes. Yeah, I would say which dev loves Dango? Definitely Roger, 100%. Um, will there be more? Absolutely. Which Dango are the best at changing light bulbs? The one with the knife. I forget the name of it, oh. but there's the one with the knife. Yep. Dangos are round because they are rice balls that are round. Easier to kick. They could roll. I mean, if you're gonna be rolling all the time, you gotta be round. Can they do math? They can. They probably stack and become an abacus, and then they can count math that way, right? Like, Do dangos lay eggs? Yes, it's weird. What's your go-to tactician? It has to be Chonk. I mean, it's the music, it's the... I love Pengu. I'm a Pengu stan. Level one Pengu knight uh, with the wooden sword. Squink's another favorite of mine. I feel like the one that's me is Umbra. Ossia was my little legend of choice for a very long time. Um, Poggles I actually use while testing content all the time. Base Morgana. And then I'm also a little bit biased towards Bell Sawyer and Scratch. Yeah, the whole list, I love that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> What's been your favorite set ever, theme aesthetic wise and gameplay wise? Don't make me choose amongst my children. I think I have to go with Remix Rumble just because it was so unconventional. Theme wise, I think I would say Fates. 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 I'm a big fan of that Eastern fantasy vibe. As um, a Vagar one trick, uh, any set that has Yordles is my favorite set. Galaxies, honorable mention. It was, I feel like, the first time we were really executing on a thematic at all. And the first time I feel like we had a mechanic that was really connected to that thematic. My favorite set is going to be Reckoning. I do love the shadow items. What's the biggest thing that the dev team came up with that made you feel like, why did it take us so long to think of this? I think the spread of Team Planner through both PC and mobile. Augments really being just as pivotal as they are was probably the biggest surprise. The randomizer. I am so glad that our team made it, but I'm like, why did we not do this? Items popping off when you get back from the carousel. That one, I can't believe we didn't think about that way earlier. What is your most memorable era patch or B patch of TFT? <laughs> it doesn't have to be a fond memory. Oh, <laughs> man. I mean, there was War Week, but I, I don't know if that was a good time. I hit Challenger playing a bunch of Sentinel Lucian in uh, Reckoning. Yep, um, yep. And the players were all saying, this unit is bad, this unit sucks, and I was like, this unit is good. And I just kept playing it, and I kept climbing, and it worked out. It was one of those moments where I felt like I was doing something different and still winning, and that, that feels really good in TFT. What is your most memorable moment while working on TFT? When we did an internal release of, of sorts where you know uh, our, our colleagues could play, I remember people staying later, way later than they should, at work and like coming to work early to queue up for TFT. I just remember, oh, like I mean, uh, that's, that was like, oh, we actually do have something here, and I think people are gonna love it. After five years of building this game, what do you want to say to our players who've come along for the ride? Aww. It's been an amazing journey, and you know, we could not have done it without your support, without your means, without your input. It's crazy that it's been five years because I feel like we've done a lot but there's also so much more we can do. And I hope we can continue to make an awesome game with you all and your feedback. Whether you've played every set or you come and go, we appreciate every player who's played. We hope you keep enjoying and we can't wait to surprise you with more and thank you on behalf of the entire TFT team.
Why no balance? We don't like balance. No, oh, don't, come on. don't put that into the 